Hello, everybody. Welcome to today's devotion for April 14th. Today's devotion is titled, God Knows Our Needs. The Bible reading is from Matthew chapter 6, verses 25 to 34. That is why I tell you not to worry about everyday life, whether you have enough food and drink or enough clothes to wear. Isn't life more than food and your body more than clothing? Look at the birds. They don't plant or harvest or store food in barns, for your heavenly Father feeds them. And aren't you far more valuable to him than they are? Can all your worries add a single moment to your life? And why worry about your clothing? Look at the lilies of the field and how they grow. They don't work or make their clothing, yet Solomon in all his glory was not dressed as beautifully as they are. And if God cares so wonderfully for wildflowers that are here today and thrown into the fire tomorrow, he will certainly care for you. Why do you have so little faith? So don't worry about these things, saying, what will we eat? What will we drink? What will we wear? These things dominate the thoughts of unbelievers, but your heavenly Father already knows all your needs. Seek the kingdom of God above all else and live righteously and he will give you everything you need. So don't worry about tomorrow for tomorrow will bring its own worries. Today's trouble is enough for today. Lando, a jeepney, a form of public transport in the Philippines, driver, a jeepney driver in Manila, gulped down coffee at a roadside stall. Daily commuters were back again after the COVID-19 lockdowns. And the sports event today means and the yeah, and the sports event today means more passengers, he thought. I'll get back lost income. Finally, I can stop worrying. He was about to start driving when he spotted Ronnie on a bench nearby. The street sweeper looked troubled like he needed to talk. But every minute counts, Lando thought. The more passengers, the more income. I can't linger. But he sensed that God wanted him to approach Ronnie. So he did. Jesus understood how difficult it is not to worry. So he assures us that our Heavenly Father knows exactly what we need. We're reminded not to be anxious, but to trust him and devote ourselves to doing what he wants us to do. As we embrace and obey his purposes, we can have confidence that our Father who clothes, clothes the grass of the field, which is here today and tomorrow, is thrown into the fire, will provide for us according to his will, just as he provides for all creation. Because of Lando's conversation with Ronnie, the street sweeper eventually prayed to become a believer in Christ, and God still provided enough passengers that day, Lando shared. He reminded me my needs were his concern. Mine was simply to follow him. What anxieties weigh on your heart? What steps can you take to surrender your cares to God? Thank you for joining me for today's devotion, and I hope you all have a wonderful day.